calculations in radian mode. We're going to be using radians here. So the arc length formula when you're in radians is uh, a nice simple one. It's S equals R, R theta, where S represents the arc length of the circle, R represents the radius of the circle, and theta represents the measure of the central angle of the circle. So in the picture, if we had a picture of this, it would look like a circle with some kind of radius, and then this is the S, and the theta is in there. So radius, theta, and then the length of the arc of the circle. So typically I like to do these ones using a ratio technique, but with radian mode, it's actually just easier to think of the formula S equals R theta because it's so simple. So in the first problem on the left, we have find the central angle if the radius is 7 and arc length is 3. So arc length S is 3, radius R is 7, and angle is theta. So what are you going to do to isolate theta? Divide both sides by the number 7, and therefore theta is equal to 3 sevenths. Final answer. If it does ask you to round it, for example, let's round this just for practice to the nearest hundredth. We should have an answer of 0.428 if we do it on the calculator. So rounding to the nearest hundredth, that would be 0.43. But exact answer is 3 sevenths. Let's try the one on the right then. It says, find the radius if the arc length is 6 and the central angle is pi over 3. So arc length, S is known, that's 6, equals radius is not known, that's what we're looking for, so we're going to keep an R there, and our central angle is theta, which is a pi over 3. So if my goal is to this time isolate the R, because I'm looking for the radius, I'm going to multiply on both sides by the quantity 3 over pi. So there's a 3 over pi that I'm multiplying on both sides, because this is going to cancel and leave me with R. On the left-hand side, we have 18 over pi. So that would be the final answer in an exact version. What would that be as a decimal? Well, 18 divided by pi is 5.729, 5.729. So if we round to the nearest hundredth, this would be 5.7, and the 9 pulls that 2 up to a 3. So 18 over pi is exact. 5.73 is an approximation. Last example, why don't you pause and see if you can do this one on your own. Put the unknown in a different spot this time, and we ask, what's the length of the arc if the radius is 5 and the central angle is 3 pi over 10? So this time, the arc length is what's unknown, so I'm going to leave an S here. Remember our formula? S is equal to R. R is the radius, so that's 5. And theta is the angle measure, so that's 3 pi over 10. So a little bit of simplification here. The 5 and the 10 reduce to be a 2. So your arc length is going to be the answer 3 pi over 2. Okay, let's see what this is as a decimal, just in case. 3 times pi divided by 2 is 4.712. So this is approximately 4.712. So if a problem asks you to round to the nearest hundredth of 4.7, we'll use that 2 to round the 1 and leave it as a 1. So round it to the nearest hundredth, 4.72.